My name is Dana, and I'm in remission from acute lymphocytic leukemia, which is a blood cancer. I was in the shower, and I was washing my hair and washing my face, and I just felt this lymph node on the side of my chin. My gut was like, this is something off. As the months progressed, we did a lot of tests. My blood tests were always normal. It wasn't until I had a biopsy on my lymph nodes that they saw a lymphoma. The next logical step and clinical step is to have a bone marrow biopsy. The biopsy showed I had leukemia. 98% of the cancer was in my bone marrow. That's a huge burden of disease on your body. I just remember like seeing my life kind of flash before my eyes. You know, when you hear something like that, you just immediately go to, you know, a really bad place. With blood cancers, it's very, very aggressive chemo. And within three rounds, it went from 98% to 0.25% in my marrow. In order to cure leukemia, you have to have a bone marrow transplant. And at this point, the transplant oncologist said, if you are ready to do this, we're ready to do this. So my transplant was roughly 20 something odd days. And within a month, they told me that I was in remission and I had engrafted with my donor cells, which happened to be my sister. I was in remission for almost 10 months, but unfortunately I relapsed and my cancer came back to 85%. Thankfully, with another round of hefty chemo, I went into remission, but I don't see myself as out of the woods. Cancer might not be in my body, but cancer is a part of my life. Having a connection with yourself is huge in a recovery. You have to ensure that you're taking the time to relax. My day-to-day -day life is certainly not what it was. I always felt I was in control of my life. Now I kind of take a seat back and look at each day as what is that day gonna present? So depending on how I feel, one of the best ways to start my day is to come to my Pilates studio. Movement for me has always been a life form and being able to get back on this machine has helped me you know, more than I can say. There are days when I wake up and it's not you know, all gravy. It's, uh, okay, you know, I'm feeling tired, my energy's low. So then I take my time and I read a book or maybe I go for a gentle walk with my dog. It's not necessary for me to do something rigorous every single day. When I first was diagnosed, I was single. You start to think, what does my future hold in terms of love, relationships? Where do I go from here? The first time I saw Dana, I was working the bar downstairs. She's beautiful. She had bald head, dressed to the nines. I could see that there was, Dana had cancer. I didn't know much about cancer at the time, but it, it truly didn't matter to me. After you go through some life and you see things like that, you start to understand that stuff is, that is life. I love you. Love to. <laughs> My cancer journey to date, I like to look at it as I might not be where I want to be, but I'm not where I was. What does my hope for the future look like? To continue to embrace each day for what it is, because I could either sit here and reminisce on the old Dana, or I can look at where I am now and be thankful just for that. I look at the small wins and, you know, today's a small win.